good morning to all today we will talk about neonatal hypoglycemia see neonatal hypoglycemia is when the random whole blood glucose is below 45 mg per deciliter in a neonate irrespective of the gestational age causes decrease substrate it is could be due to delayed or inadequate feeding preterm or iugr babies intrauterine growth retardation babies or metabolic disorders first cause was decrease in substrate the second cause is sepsis third is increased utilization it is seen in hyperinsulinemic states hyperinsulinemic states they for example infant of diabetic mother polycythemia rh incompatibility necidu blastosis Nasidoblastosis is a benign tumor of beta cells of Langhavens. Next is back with Wegman syndrome. It is associated with Wegman's tumor. the syndromes includes galactosemia and low cortisol low cortisol could be seen in cah and hypopituitarism terism talking about the clinical features there is jeteriness jeteriness seizures third apnea fourth bradycardia fifth coma sixth lethargy hypoglycemia is commonly linked with hypoglycemia okay prolonged hypoglycemia sorry it is hypoglycemia instead of hypoglycemia it is hypothermia hypothermia is commonly associated with hypoglycemia okay so prolonged hypoglycemia may lead to two conditions first may lead to permanent occipital lobe damage Secondly, may even result in cardiac arrest. Talking about treatment, we have to look whether the patient is symptomatic or asymptomatic. For symptomatic patients, we give IV dextrose. Ten percent bolus. There are uh, two ml per kg, followed by 
IV dextrose infusion at the rate 6 mg per kg per minute. Okay, for asymptomatic patient, patient look for the blood glucose if it is less than 20 and the patient is symptomatic directly go with the dextrose infusion at the rate 6 mg per kg and for 20 to 40 mg per deciliter blood glucose trial of oral feed is given no response then IV dextrose infusion at the rate 6 mg per kg per minute talking about maximum glucose infusion rate it is 12 mg per kg per minute okay now talking about the drugs used in refractory hypoglycemia so first is hydrocortisone second is dioxide third is octreotide fourth glucagon a point to remember in glucagon is not effective in iugr okay this is the point you have to remember now the so final conclusion not so neonatal hypoglycemia mia when the blood sugar count is less than 45 milligram per deciliter hypoglycemia in older children is when the blood glucose count is less than 54 milligram per deciliter very easy to remember you just have to reverse the digits and you will get this g4 so very easy to remember thank you this is all for today please like and subscribe the channel